This is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com. I hope you enjoyed this critical thought, your daily discussion on game design. Hello and welcome to today's critical thought. As always, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And for you first timers, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, our regularly scheduled critical thought, unfortunately, is going to wait until tomorrow as we got a certain milestone. As you can see right up there, we finally broke 1,000 subscribers here on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much, everyone, for subscribing. I really do mean that. Let me give a few shouts to some friends of mine. Channel Tiny Pirate for giving me a crash course in YouTube and doing better things around here. My friends James Ellerby and Nathan McGrill for providing some feedback and helping me out over the last few weeks and months. And of course, all of you for subscribing. So for today's Critical Thought, we're kind of going to sit back, bask in the glow for a few minutes, and talk about what's going to be coming up in the future. I was talking to my friend last night, I figure once we hit 1,000, I guess that means uh, PewDiePie will you know, show up in front of my house in a golden limo to present me with a 1K trophy. But this is a very big deal. I started doing this channel seriously about a year and a half ago, around June of 2015 was when I first started to sit down and wanted to try to add this to my Game Wisdom brand. And it's definitely been an interesting time to say the least. I like to say that things have improved. I've been doing more in terms of making the content more easily digestible and of course linking it to everything we have. The Game Wisdom site, the Twitch stream, Twitter, and all that good stuff. So, I guess this means that fame and fortune are right around the corner, right? Well, to be seriously, money-wise, things are still on the down end. The Patreon obviously isn't hitting the numbers I need, but I certainly needed a win like this. And I know that this is definitely going to be the first step towards growing everything out as a brand. Before I used to just talk about the Patreon at the start of these videos, and I realized one, it annoys you guys, and two, it's not really going to help things out in the long run. It's more of a short term gain that really doesn't mean much if it just, you know, stops after a few weeks. So, one thing about me is I always played the long game. It's why I've set up to build game wisdom and to grow myself as writer, streamer, audio editor, and now video guy here. And the YouTube channel is not like the focus point for everything. It's simply going to be part of the brand going forward. Thankfully, it is a part that has certainly become very popular and I think is helping things all around. And in 2017, the next phase will basically begin as I'm going to start looking into doing presentations around my local areas and maybe, I'm hoping, at some like video game conferences and stuff like that. As you saw, I don't have the magazine right here next to me, but um, as you saw a few weeks ago, I made the announcement that I'm going to be at my local library's Comic Con in March, and I have two other presentations currently planned, oh, excuse me, currently planned for April and May of 2017. Once those dates are locked down, I'll let you guys know. And hopefully this will also sort of be the stepping stone towards a goal that I've been trying to do for the last few years now, and that is give a talk at GDC. I've been pitching ideas now for, I think, three years. And one of the things I think that has hurt me was the fact that I had pretty much literally no public speaking experience. But with this channel and of course with those presentations, I think there may be a shot for, I guess this would be considered the 2018 GDC, because they always do these submissions one year before. And of course with things growing here, I'm sure, as I said earlier, that fame and fortune are surely around the corner, especially as the channel continues to grow and the fact that we hit that big milestone. When I talked about this on the 700 video, I mentioned how YouTube's algorithm will basically promote and do a better job of showing videos as you get higher up in views. It's why the big guys stay bigger and why it's harder at the start. But now that we hit the 1000 milestone, that should hopefully mean that these videos will be better broadcast and will hopefully start bringing in the numbers. Now, what that means for you guys. First off, 
as you can see right there we have I actually have it up here on my cabinet instead of as a graphic but do you guys still want to get the daily updates I figure now that we hit 1000 I could probably hold off and wait for I guess like medium sized milestones maybe like every 50 or every 100 new subscribers let me know what you think below I will still of course thank you and give the usual be sure to subscribe talk that all youtubers give at the beginning but I won't uh, publicize as much unless you guys want to see it. Now let's get to the real tree and that is some of the rewards or some of the things that will be coming to the channel now. As you know I've been offering let's plays and stuff like that and with Salt and Sanctuary finishing up I'll be able to get back to Hitman and then Bastion but there's still the 1000 mega let's play and your choices were between a playthrough of the games from Zaktronics, that would be um, Infinite Factory, Space Chem, TIS-100, and of course Shenzhen IO, which Zach himself on my recent podcast suggested that I don't do. I think he said that way leads to madness. There was a play of one of Paradox's 4X Grand Strategy games, a genre that I have not been able to crack in the past, but with this Let's Play, it would basically be me chronicling it as a new player. So I would basically pick either like Europa, Crusader Kings 2, or Solaris, whatever you guys think would be the best to try. And I will basically run the gambit, or I'm sorry, run the gauntlet of that. And then the third one was a play of one of the big games from Bethesda. Fallout 4, 3, Skyrim, something like that. Again, another genre which I really haven't enjoyed in the past, but I figure it would be a good way to sort of chronicle what annoys me or what are things that draw me away from the genre and see if there is a way to get around it. As always, whatever one you want to pick, be sure to vote in any of the critical thoughts from today on. And because this is a big one, we'll give it like a week or two before we'll close the polls. But, um, other than that, one other thing that I want to do, since we now have over 1,000 subscribers, I figure you guys must really like watching me. So, what we will do is I'm going to try to open things up for a little bit more streaming, either on here or on the Twitch. Um, you probably like a Saturday or a Sunday, maybe once a month for right now, depending upon how, you know, things go with the Patreon and with my work and such. We'll have basically like a longer, maybe like a mid-afternoon stream. For those of you who miss it, I've been replaying Bloodborne now that my recording of the game is done. You guys haven't seen those videos yet, but they will be going up probably in the coming week or so, especially considering how many there are. But I'll be trying to do a little bit more of an afternoon stream during the weekends, just, you know, as a way of adding more content and basically letting you guys enjoy more stuff. And we may or may not bring it over here on YouTube, depending upon what the game is and stuff like that. As you also know, Friday night I did a live edition of our Perceptive Podcast, which that will be sent over here probably in a few days. That may be next week's podcast. Or next week being when we record this for those of you watching this in the future as for the site game wisdom itself um, I'm not sure if anything else will change at least for right now if you guys have any suggestions of course for anything be sure to let me know like I said a lot of this has been me learning along the way and getting help from friends so the more criticism and the more comments definitely the better now then we're going to wrap things up, I guess, for now, but there is still one more thing to talk about. What's the next goal? This is something I didn't even really think about at the time. I was still surprised I got 100 subscribers, and my family thought I was crazy for getting 500. And then when I announced the 1,000 goal, they were like, you're never going to get that. And well, look where we are now. So, what's the next goal? Well, my friend Nathan from Gotaki Gaming, when we were talking about this about a month, month and a half ago, he said that given the quality of the content and how I keep putting stuff out, he bet me that by June of 2017, that I think he said that I should have, that the channel will grow to 10,000 subscribers. I think he's crazy for that one. I'm a pessimist slash realist, so I'm not sure that's going to happen, but I guess that's going to be our next goal. So, this will be one of those times I will be very happy if I'm proven wrong. 
But we're going to wrap up our little treat for today. Once again, thank you so much for everyone subscribing. Like I said, I really do mean it. It is great to see a lot of people enjoying the content and wanting to support myself and Game Wisdom. Of course, be sure to check back tomorrow for more great content. And an actual critical thought. Now, starting Monday, at least on Game Wisdom, we're going to be basically beginning my Game of the Year celebration. This will be the first time we'll be doing it with the YouTube channel, and I'll probably have a critical thought about 2016 at the end. But for the next two weeks, as far as weekdays, I'll be counting down my top 10 games of 2016. The problem, of course, is I actually have to think about them. Like we've been talking about on the podcast, time has no meaning when you're doing all this stuff. And I've mostly forgotten all the games that came out in 2016. I had to rely on my friends who are posting their games of the year to kind of clue me as to what actually came out. For instance, I completely forgot about Duskers that came out this year, let alone games like Stardew Valley and XCOM 2. But that will be starting Monday. And like I said, be sure to look for a critical thought after the time is up. But let's end things here. Like I said, if you like to get the daily updates, still let me know, otherwise we'll save them for the major milestones. Be sure to vote for our Mega 1000 Let's Play. And other than that, thank you so much for watching today. Once again, I am Josh Beiser from GameWisdom.com and now a 1K YouTuber. Thanks for watching. And be sure to check back tomorrow for more great content here and on GameWisdom.com. And have a great Saturday night. Take care. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, share with your friends. It always helps out. For daily posts on all manner of game design and industry topics, check out Game-Wisdom.com. To support the site and everything that I do, be sure to check out the Patreon campaign. If we can hit goals, it will mean more content for everyone to enjoy, and I'll be able to support myself and my household. If you want to follow me, you can find me on Twitter at GWBicer for updates throughout the day and random thoughts from me. And lastly, you can find me on Twitch right over there at GWBicer for daily streams most nights around 10 Eastern. Thanks again for watching the video, and be sure to check out more great content coming to the Game Wisdom channel real soon.